Today I'm going to be showing you how to pipe a reverse shell border. This is going to use any kind of star tip and you can choose your size according to what will fit best with your cake. What you want to imagine is that you have a center line going through your piping and that the circular heads of each piece are alternating on the left side and the right side and the tails of those are meeting into the center. I like to think of the base shape of each side of my reverse shell as S's and question marks. So that helps me remember which direction I need to pipe and I'm alternating those, an S, a question mark, an S, a question mark. And I'm piping sort of the top half of each of those and then letting them taper into a point. In this next set of drawings, you can see the shape that you're trying to achieve. So it's sort of fat and full at the top and then tapering into that small point and sort of disappearing at the end. When you start to put your S's and question marks together, you want to sort of nuzzle in the head of the next shape that you're doing into the tail that you tapered off of the section behind so that they form one connected train of shapes. Start by practicing each shape. So here I'm starting with my question marks and once you get comfortable with those, then you can move on to your S's. So making sure you have that nice full, almost a complete circle at the head and then tapering off down into the point on the end. Now it's time to start putting these shapes together. I always find that it's easiest to pipe towards myself. I can make sure that I'm keeping a straight line and that I'm also making sure that both sides of these, the S's and the question marks, are staying the same size. This is a design that goes best on a flat surface, so doing it on the top edge of a cake. So this is a half sheet of parchment and I'm gonna pipe this border going around just like I would the top of a half sheet cake. 